In this video I will show you an essential concept in Arduino programming called typecasting. Let's get started. Typecasting is the process of converting a variable from one type to another. This is especially useful in situations where you need to ensure that your variables are in the correct format for a specific operation. Let's take a look at some basics. I will serial print with 9600 baud. I will create an integer variable, a floating point variable, a character variable, and I will just print everything. And um, I also need an Arduino. There you are. All right. Perfect. First, let's convert an integer into a float. So I will just assign the integer variable to the float variable. Let's see what happens. The result is a float variable. So it is 42.00. This right here is known as implicit casting. It works automatically. However, you can also cast explicitly. It would look like this. So now we convert the integer variable into the type float before assigning it to float variable. And the outcome is exactly the same as before. But let me show you something that might confuse you at first. Let's convert the character variable into an integer variable. And then we don't print the float variable, we just print the character variable. And after the character variable, we print the integer variable. So this again is implicit casting. And we just assign a character variable to an integer variable. Let's see what happens. Now this is interesting. Um, I convert the number zero as a character into an integer and the result is 48. Let's try to do it explicitly. It's the same. So what's going on here? The type character can store all sorts of different symbols. The symbol zero is represented by the number 48. And this is called ASCII. There is actually an example called ASCII table where we can see all the values of the table. So let's do this. It loops through all of the characters and then we can see it in the serial monitor. So here you can see the ASCII table. So we start with the decimal number 33. There are actually also characters that can't be printed. And these are only the characters that can be printed, apparently, because you can see them here. And so if we go to zero, you see zero is 48. And then thankfully, <laughs> um, they are in the correct order. So one is 49 and so on until nine. So here comes your exercise. I would like to have a function that converts a character number into an integer number. How would this function look like? So the function has return value of int and I will call it character to int and it takes a character variable number as parameter and we need to return this character number as integer number. And so what we could do is we say, okay, I need an integer and we want to return the number, right? But now it's not correct because zero would return 48. And so what we could do is we subtract 48 but that looks weird because why 48? We could also subtract zero 
because this also represents 48 if it is casted into an integer explicitly in this case it also works by implicit casting but this way it's more explicit right let's try it out so instead of just assigning the character variable like this i will use character to int and assign the character variable And now zero actually is zero. And if we try, for example, number five, then five is five. Perfect. To this point, implicit casting and explicit casting always had the same outcome. But I will show you an example where it's not the same. We will make a, a nice division. Our numerator is 5 and our denominator is 2 and now we divide and the result of course should be a floating point variable. If we now take the numerator and divide it by the denominator And then we print the result. So now the result is 2.00, which of course is wrong, but both of the variables are integer variables. And so it's an integer division. An integer division just ignores the decimal places. We need to explicitly cast the integer variables into float variables before we divide. And it actually works as soon as you cast one of them. If we cast the numerator to a float variable, this is already enough to trigger a floating point division with the result 2.5. But I really like to cast everything explicitly so that it's more clear and the result stays the same. And just so that you see what happened before, if we don't explicitly cast here, then what happens is there will be casting. However, it will cast the result of this operation like this. So this right here stays And this right here also stays of type integer. And then the result, of course, is 2.0. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a message down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.